The CP Republic is brought to you by Smart and Talk and Text. And welcome to the latest episode of the CP Republic. I'm DR. And I'm Jam. And we're going to talk about the Philippines. 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 And then, and then uh, uh, huling, uh, huling episode namin was in, ano, was in, uh, uh, Taipei. Taipei. Uh, doon tayong record <laughs> ng, ano, ng uh, video. Then, trip namin doon going recording. Oh, yun nga, nalulungkot na uli kami. Then, back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> Dito ulit kami sa Makati. Yes. No? <laughs> Alright. Hindi <laughs> mo lang malungkot ka umasay kasi nagbabalik tayo dito. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, anyway, um, Uh, pasalamat kami kay Jesus na mm-hmm. you know, pinagay sa Bataan, sa Bataan, pinagay tayo sa Taipei. Um, it was a nice experience actually. Mm-hmm. Ang dami, ang dami natin pinuntahan eh, ang dami natin experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Computex, it was fun. Uh, sobrang gulo kasi syempre maraming tao pero it was fun overall. Yeah. And uh, not only in Computex but also in, ano, in uh, Asus headquarters. Yes. Uh, we towards sa uh, Jesus headquarters yeah, yeah. and si Reg may lalabas sa video ako din, may lalabas din ng video so stay tuned para dun sa mga videos namin na yun. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, we're, uh, dalawang babalita namin na uh, the news this week and uh, the first news is uh, well, yung bakit kami nandun sa, ta- sa Taipei? Um, uh, there was, ano, uh, uh, yung There was an event called the Zen Evolution. Okay, mm-hmm. so uh, we mga chiefs we saw una na dito ina uh, dito we the launch of Zen for three and uh, actually kano na lang yari, no? Uh, aside from the Zen book, the newer Zen books, the newer transformers, the Zen for three yung pinaka ano eh, pinaka malaking balita eh mm-hmm. sa ano. Sa, ini parang pinaka main focus ng uh, event na yun. Yes, it was a main focus. So, uh, lahat ng product sila ang gaganda. Na, you know, well, yeah. hindi ko in expect na parang ah okay, may bagong products dito pero hindi ko in expect na parang lahat ng products yata ni na sila is talagang interesting. Yeah, let's go to ganun talaga yung ano, ganun talaga yung uh, release nila eh. Mm-hmm. So, pero pag-uusapan since this is a super public, ang pag-uusapan natin is yung ano, Yung, uh, so, uh, so if you want to know more about this uh, Computex, the the Transformers, the Zen books, do check out our blog. So please yes. uh, check out our blogs para alam niyo yung latest dun sa notebooks and dun sa two in ones nila na inanaw. Yes, yeah, so DROnTheGo.net and yes. sa jamonline.ph. Thank you. So okay, so Zen Falls. Ano ba mga tatlong Zen? Tatlong Zen Falls ang ano ang the launch na ano sa Zen Evolution. Yes, tatlo. So the first one was you know, the first one was the Zenfone 3. Mm-hmm. The next Zenfone was the Zenfone 3 Deluxe, mm-hmm. and the last Zenfone was the Zenfone 3 Ultra. The biggest, the giant, the yeah. Zenfone. So actually, but actually, ano, na pinigil kami ng uh, ng copy nito. Ito mm-hmm. kami. So for sure, uh, na, so for sure, nang mga nang ba that nung ano nang ba mong Zenfone. Oh, pero it's for the ano yung sa global na sulok so. Yeah. Not sure if you can see it in the Philippines. Yeah, okay. So, this is the first time we have a series of Zen Phone 2. You know, uh, may 16 gig, may mm-hmm. 32 gig, may 64 gig. You know? mm-hmm. um, I'm not sure if, uh, no, if we're going to have the same way again this year. But, as I said, they made it simple. Eh. Mm-hmm. So, what's the name of Zen Phone 3? Zen Phone 3. Yeah. Yes. What's the name of Zen Phone 3? Uh, Deluxe. Zen Phone Deluxe lang. Mm-hmm. And meron din naman Zenfone 3 Ultra lang. No? Mm-hmm. Pero kasi, with the way that they, you know, with the way that they, uh, you know, with the way, with the way that they uh, presented, they said sabi sila up to 256GB internal storage, mm-hmm. up to 4GB. Um, Maraming variants na so, ano, memory. So, what we're trying to say is, uh, mag- mag- magkakaroon na naman ito ng mga variants. Mm-hmm. And, uh, If you're gonna ask, anong variants magkakaroon dito sa Pilipinas, 
yun ang hindi pa namin kaya sa uh, yeah. Kasi not even the Philippines, not even the Asian Philippines know the answer for this. However, yun ang ano, yun ang iniisip namin na there's a possibility na na instead of making it simple, pero mukhang magkakaroon ng more than ano ba, more than these three. Mm-hmm. Mas sinasabi natin na, kasi like for example, Zenfone 3 Deluxe, ay Zenfone 3. Okay. Mm-hmm. When when they announced the Zenfone 3, it's a 5.2 inch display, all right. Mm-hmm. Then we you know uh, three gigs of RAM, and then we you know we uh, what we tell a story. Well, this one they have the specs. Yeah, the specs are in there. Video pan sizes and display. 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 So, okay, the same thing. Yeah, okay, so that's all. Yeah, that's all. Okay, so, what to the yeah, storage up to 64 gig of ROM and up to 4 gig of RAM. So, uh, I'm pretty sure na dito sa Pilipinas, hindi lang hindi lahat ito up to 64 gig. Baka mamaya, may rasa yung beta na up to 30. Well, actually, confirm na may 32 gig kasi dalawa yung variants na Zen Phone 3 na confirm. Meron tayong 5.2 and 5.5. Okay. So ngayon, na-spill na ni Jeremy yung beans. Hindi, actually doon na lang na i-base yung memory. Okay, yun yan. Kasi I'm not supposed to say that. Oh, okay. I'm not supposed to say that. Pero nasabi na ni Jeremy, so... Asus Philippines, si Higgins si Jeremy. Ba't pwede na sabihin yun? Matukad ka. Nasira ang momentum. So pwede sa natin? <laughs> so na ngayon, dahil nasabi na ni Jam na hindi dapat ano, ng pampasira ng ano, ng pampasira ng surprise ko. No? Uh, so, hindi ko na alam kung nasasabihin ko. Um, sabi nila may 5.2 pero ito nga, si Jam nagkalan. Si 5.5 daw. So magkakaroon naman talaga ng 5.5. At least hindi ako ganun pero, nagkalan sa H. Pero hindi. Pero yung ano, ang a point, ang um, what I'm trying to point out here is, um, it was it isn't simplified as we thought, you know? because so after you know, know it, because yeah. after you know after this evolution, do namin alaman ni Jam na there is a 5.5 the Zenfone 3, and it will also be launched here in the Philippines. Now, what can you Okay. Um, what we all, what we know for the meantime is. In 5.2 inch, the Zenfone 3 uh, will have a price of two hundred forty eight dollars US. Mm-hmm. Pero so that's around uh, para convert mo directly. It's around eleven thousand plus plus. Pero guys, this is not gonna be the price for the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's an SDN price sa US, pero not here in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. So if uh. Well, may narinig kayo, like, 249. If you directly convert it, that's like 11,000 plus. Do not expect the Zen phones to be around at that price. So, yeah. siguro, mag-add kayo, if marunong kayo, alamin niyo yung taxes, uh, syempre yung margin, marami, marami yung, ano. Anyway, yung... medyo sabog tayo ngayon dito eh. Pero, let's, let's talk about first. Ano pang, ano, uh, 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 let's get things, let's get things organized. Pasensya na medyo baka syo pa yung utak namin. Pero ano ba yung ano? Uh, ano ba meron ngayon sa Zenfone 3? Ano ba maganda sa Zenfone 3? Actually, ang dami eh. Okay. Let's focus on the Zenfone 3 first, guys. Okay. Let's focus on the Zenfone 3 first. On the Zenfone 3, it's... Uh, okay, ano natin yung Zenfone 2, di ba? We've, we've reviewed a lot of Zenfone 2. Anong comments ka nila? Mm-hmm. Ang comments ka nila is, you know, the back cover is made of enough plastic. Mm, it's, it has Poly, a curved back. Polycarbonate, uh, polycarbonate made of uh, last mm-hmm. lap, a curved back. Except for the except for the newer models that were launched this year, the Max and the Zoom, they both have leather and all, leather back covers. It's a black, but the white of Zenfone Max, it's using a ceramic back cover. Ceramic, okay. Uh-huh. So, but they're not curved. They're, they're not, not curved. They're yes. not curved. They're and different. the volume buttons are, uh, are on the sides. sides. Okay? Yes. Pero karamihan ng Zenfone 2, lahat, karamihan ng mga design ng Zenfone 2 sa likod yung volume rocker and curved yung back niya, ala LG G3, yes. G4, okay? And then, 
the, 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 the front, the kikita natin. The front is pretty practic practically the same, the same as uh, as with the other Zen phones, all right. And uh, which well, there's no ano eh. We actually didn't necessarily put aluminum or ano or metal yung ano yung frame. I don't remember. No? Pero it's a bit it's solid. What I can say it's really is solid. Karami as kana is solid. Well, because uh, it's a big departure ng uh, ng design from Zen Phone Two. Because Zen Phone Two is using plastic, right? Uh, plastic and then curved back. Then, eto hindi eh. Uh, it feels like na double yung price niya. Para dito sa na experience mo Zen Phone Three, you got a glass body for the Zen Phone Three. Ah, yeah. we're talking about the Zen Phone Three. No, no, no. That's not a glass body. It's a the frame is made of aluminum. Yeah, ma aluminum. Pero unahan ng dikot pala is. No, the front and back are made of glass. Oh, so those are the materials. Gorilla glass, yeah. and then they're coated by Gorilla Glass. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Gorilla Gorilla Glass uh -huh. board. That's with two uh, 2.5D glass. 2 so, I'm premium niya hawakan. So, manong premium niya hawakan. And it's lightweight. Uh, super. It's super lightweight. It's super lightweight. Uh, I was a hawak ko yung... Kasi, the surprise ka din. Yung pinahawak sa amin ng isang product manager ng no, 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 Asus Philippines. Uh, right after ng Zenvolution uh, presentation. Parang, oh my God, gaan. Sobrang gaan. Oh. I didn't expect that it would be that light. Parang ito yung... Isa sa pinaka mag magaan kong smartphone na nahawakan for its size. Yeah, yeah. Hindi ako, hindi ako nagulat ako. And to be honest, ano ah, to be honest, parang mas may appeal na sa akin ito compared to the Samsung Galaxy S7. Actually, yes. Medyo mas may appeal siya. Because siguro dahil sa Zen design niya, yung concircular design. Kasi parang, wow, may reflection sa akin. No, no, it's about the uh, design. So, it's overall design, even the in your it's too light. Yes, super light. Alam mo kung waterproof yan, eh, wala na. Tapos uh -oh. na usapan, di ba? Hindi, hindi siya water resistant. Ang ano nga lang sa akin is, mas prefer ko yung sa S7, yung may curve back sila. Curve yung likod niya na yun. Mas madali well, yes, yes, yes. Pero hindi, pero ako, oh, oh, uh, holding the, you know, holding the Zenfone 3 is, I'm um, kind of sold to it. I'm really kind of sold to it. Then ano, uh, there's the Zenfone 3 Deluxe. Hmm, yung Zenfone 3 Deluxe is the premium. And, 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 uh, I'm, uh, targeting this, uh, targeting we, this, we, or we are targeting this to be uh, our next phone, uh, our next main phone. Uh, first, aluminum, and uh, this is all, all metal. Mm -hmm. Um, it's something special, sa As in super all metal, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, kasi may mga iba, hindi naman talagang all metal, kasi yung antenna na yung issue, di ba? Mm -hmm. Pero itong si Asus, may nagawa na paraan. Yes, yes. Okay. Yung special and something, hindi na ako mag-spill si Riley na yung magsasabi. Oo. Oh. Hindi, hindi. Ikaw na magsasabi, sige na. Mapasira ka naman. <laughs> so this is the world's first unibody smartphone with an invisible antenna design. Hindi niyo alam kung saan yung magkikita yan. Hmm, kasi, um... Ito, alam ko. Alam mo, sinabi ba? Yes. Sabi, daya na. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, to give you an idea sa mga walang alam sa ano sa antenna design, if you have, you can check out iPhone 6s. iPhone 6s, I guess that's the best example. iPhone 6s, bakit siya may lines sa likod? Because of antenna. You need those lines para magkamero kayo na signal. I don't want to get technical into this, pero kailangan nyo ng para plastic or something not metal dun sa likod. Even yung other smartphones, akala nyo full metal silicone, meron sila yung plastic na pinaglalagyan ng antenna lines. Kasi kailangan talaga nila yun para sa ano, sa signal. Kasi nagkaano yun eh, if metal siya, hindi siya pwede mag ano, hindi siya pwede gawin sa full antenna. So kailangan talaga may plastic, which is yung antenna lines. And with the deluxe, wala na siyang antenna lines. So, it is something na very premium. Uh, and something na wala yung ibang smartphones. Wow. So, actually, yun nga. Um, bukod dun sa, ano, sa invisible antenna, meron ng ano, um, the, the, the RAM is bigger. You know, how yes. Big, the, 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 how big Super is the duper big, even bigger than my tablet. <laughs> wow. Six gigs, my goodness. Yes. It's three times bigger than my eight-inch tablet. Six gigs. Six oh, gigs. Six gigs. So actually, ang alam ko lang na may six gigs of RAM is the Vivo X-Play. And then we have 
yeah, the Zen 4. I'm not sure if meron pang iba, pero more, most probably marami pang darating. We expect the Galaxy Note 5 would have a 6 gb of RAM. Yeah. Uh, kasi since we have the Deluxe, so sana... And it will have the Snapdragon na pa, 820 hmm. processor. They, uh, guys, wala ng Intel processor because Intel has ditched the mobile uh, process, their mobile processors except for the tablet, of course. Yeah. Pero yun nga, we're using Qualcomm. It's still powerful. It's Snapdragon 820. It is used by the Samsung Galaxy S7, by the G5, and other flagship smartphones. So, ano, uh, wow, I mean, ito talaga yung gusto ko ano eh. Dahil nahawakan ko yung ano, nahawakan ko yung Deluxe. Uh, ito pa talaga yung ano, iba yung feel, iba yung mm-hmm. ano, Iba yung dapdap ko talaga. Sa... Iba yung feel niya eh. Actually, may gamukha siya sa microphone. Pero, iba pa rin yung feel niya kasi sobrang kaya niya. Iba yung feel. Eh. It's, ah, oh, alam mo yung pag oh, sabi nga ni Chester, pag, you know, pag, you know, pag magigitaw ko lang, lalapas sa mga. <laughs> Chester is a fellow colleague of another magazine na hindi namin sasabihin kasi baka, ano, <laughs> no, pero yun talaga yung mabifeel mo once you, parang, what? This is so solid, but it's so light. This is, right. this, oh, oh. Grabe, grabe talaga. 5.7 inch screen, malaki. Malaki yung display niya. 5.7 inch, it's bigger than the Z Phone 2. It's the same size as the Galaxy Note 5. Uh, pero dahil medyo maganda yung body niya, hindi mo mabifeel yung pagka 5.7 inch niya. Tapos ano, ito pa yung malupit. Yung camera niya. Uh, yung camera yes, niya. the camera is okay. super, super camera niya. Wow. Actually, it's a Z Fold 3. It's a Z Fold. Actually, Z Fold 3 is still, ano, still using... Uh, it's still, ano, ano, still using a 60 megapixel camera. Pero it's a Z Fold 3 Deluxe. Mas maganda. Nagkano na, nag-upgrade sila. Hmm. 23 megapixels na. Okay. And bukod doon, bukod doon, okay. And this is what also makes me excited, okay? Is the use of the Sony IMX318 on mm-hmm. uh, the sensor. Ano bang gumagamit na Sony? At check ko ako, sino nung Xperia! Oh yeah, well, aside sa Xperia, so kung malaman yung... Oh, let's see, oh, let's sino see. pa. Pero as far as I know, yung mga gumagamit ng IMX, actually, IMX318 is still new. Yes, it is still new. Kong, okay. February, February 2016 lang siya in-announce. Because I remember, I remember. Okay. Uh, when we interview, uh, okay, so a, a few, a selected few of us were in, you know, were, uh, were, you know, we were invited to interview the ASUS uh, CEO, global CEO, so Mr. Uh, Jerry Shen. You know? mm-hmm. And uh, na mention niya na yung sila yung, sila yung, ano, sila yung pinaka first to use the Sony, the new Sony sensors. Ah, okay. I remember correctly, na sabi niya yun sa interview namin. Mm-hmm. So, ano, kung baga sila yung bagong, uh, buwena mano sila. Basically, buwena mano sila. Actually, maganda yung ano niya kasi no? uh, it's using, according sa Wikipedia, it's using a one, uh, 2.6 inch na, no? na sensor size, which is pretty good. Maganda yung sensor size niya. Uh, it's actually, it's not as good as the Z5, yung sensor size, pero okay na siya. It's, it has a better na, ano, na sensor size sa iPhone 6S. Interesting siya. Although we cannot uh, parang say na ganito na kagad yung, yung nakita namin is the best na kagad na quality na makikita namin sa Zen phone. Of course, it has to be it has to be tested. Oh, yeah. uh, but I'm very satisfied with it. The first shots, test shots, wow, ang ganda. Ang laking improvement from the previous Zen phone. Right. And this time, it can record 4K videos. Yeah, it can record 4K, 4K videos. videos. Right. Siguro pwede na rin slow mo, hindi ko lang siguro na hindi ka, pero pwede na slow mo. And then, ano rin, uh, may... Uh, may 4 axis, 4 stops sa OIS, optical image na mm-hmm. stabilization, at tapos meron pa nga silang ano, uh, for the videos naman, uh, they have 3 axis electronic image stabilization. Oh, so guys, ito, um, wala akong alam na pinag-combine combine ng EIS at OIS, this only Zen phone lang, and with that, sobrang stabilized ng videos nyo, kahit na nakahawak lang siya sa monopod o hawak nila, 
the EIS uh, uh, short term lang, EIS is nagka-crop siya ng image yeah. para maging stabilized siya while OIS is gumagalaw yung hardware lens para mag-stabilize yung camera nyo the thing is, yung EIS if medyo hindi nyo feel yung pagka-crop pwede nyo siyang patayin pero yung OIS, hindi nyo siya pwede patayin because it's hardware based, it's hardware -based. so well, actually OIS talaga is hindi na kailangan patayin kasi it really improves the quality of your images and videos. Kaya namin minimension yun kasi may isang tanong yung magpapanggap na vlogger na tinanong niya sa design team ng ASUS ay tinanong niya sa camera ano, sa camera master ay, 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 ano, ano, ng ASUS kung pwede pa din ng OIS. So, mano lang please feeling mo magaling ka huwag ka mong magaling nagkakalat ka sa Taiwan. <laughs> And um, the Asus Zenfone 3 Deluxe also has this uh, called Tri Tritech na focus in, in autofocus which is 0.03 na pag autofocus na 0.03 seconds lang bago mag-focus sa isang object and I've tried it, it's really fast uh, not siguro on par with most flagships today yeah. on par with the Galaxy S7 when it comes to, to autofocus Sobrang nagulat ako. Maganda nga yung camera niya. Laking, sobrang laking improvement from the previous set. Oh, and take note, this is not the consumer version pa ng software niya. So we might see an improved na camera quality niya once the Deluxe has uh, been outed dito sa market. Yeah, that's one thing for sure. Now, uh, the last ano, the last Zenfone na, na ano natin, usapan is yung Zenfone 3 Ultra. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a surprise kasi walang naka-expect nitong Ultra na. Yeah. Oh. So the, what is the Ultra? Actually, during the interview with, you know, with, uh, with Mr. Shen, uh, oh. Jerry Shen, how come you practice Ultra? How come It seems that he loves the Ultra. Talaga. Like well, actually... Ay, ako naman, parang, parang gusto ko na rin ng Ultra. <laughs> ako mas prefer ko the Ultra. Because sa sana, sa sana, you can eat, easily put it in his you know, jacket. The, the, the thing is, with us, we're not wearing jackets. Mm. My neck. Diba? And so, he likes secretaries. So, what's the neck? So, paano natin yari yung, you know, yung ultra? I don't think we can put it in our back. No, I don't think that we can put it in our jeans. Yeah. Pero, it's the 6.8 inch display of the ultra. It's also, uh, ano rin, it ties in a sense na, pag hindi ka manood ng videos, hindi ka maglaro ng games, I Probably you would like the Zen Phone 3 Ultra. Oh, kasi good. No, 6.8 inch screen display. No, it's not just 6.8 inch, a full HD display. Ha? Ano pa to? 4K. Mm. And then 4K, 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 4K TV, TV processor. processor. Oh, oh. 4K TV processor. We'll so, talk about that moment. So, yung, ano, yung display yan, yan yeah. display quality, yan, sharpness, yeah. uh, the contrast. Parang ano eh, ang, ang lupet, ang lupet sa ano, ang lupet for a 6.8 inch. Actually, hindi ko na feel yung okay. pala full HD niya. Hindi mo masasabi yung 4K, no? right there and then. Pero, uh, pero, when I check the sample videos, dun sa ano, sa experiential boot, ng, uh, ng Zen, Zen, during the Zen Volution. Oh, kaya sa Zen Volution, meron. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Na, ma-open ko din yung video. Sabi ko, oh, lupet ang video na ito. Lupet ang ano, ang screen na ito. Iba eh. Iba yung display niya. So kahit sabihin mo, ay, full HD, ang laki ng display, full HD. Actually, hindi ko na-feel yung pagka full HD niya. It feels, uh, well, not full HD, not 4K, pero ang ganda kasi, hindi mo malamang kung ano ba i-describe ko. Ba, full HD, pero bakit ganito? Tapos, yung smoothness ng videos, ang ganda ng smoothness, in, hindi lang yun. Sabi nga ni Rech, mga na siya parang ng movies and videos. Eh, parang siya movies, yeah. And playing games. Kasi, yung nga, 4K TV processor and then yung kanyang audio. Sobrang ganda ng audio niya. It's, sabihin natin, um, it's one of the best audio na makikita niyo sa isang, isang smartphone. It is not as good as the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, pero malapit na siya sa iPad Pro. And take note, the iPad Pro is a very big tablet, pero ito, it's a 6.8 inch smartphone, pero kanya na tapatan when it comes to audio. Yun sa isang room, di ba? Ala. I know. It's not only that. Uh, the same sa room. Ito, when I interviewed the uh, product manager ng ano, 
yung ultra ng uh, Zenfone. ng Zenfones, okay? Uh, Computex, uh, the Computex booth. And you know, Jan, uh -huh. the Computex venue is loud and it's noisy. Yes, yes. Uh, Take uh, note, parang World Trade Center. Take it's yes, like World Trade para Center. Parang kanan sa World Trade Center. Actually, we are in the World Trade Center. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. imagine that you are in the World Trade Center here in Manila. Pero tuktok niya, ang lakas! Oh, rinig pa din! Rinig pa din! <laughs> What? Sorry, dude, <laughs> dude pag, pag may tumakagsari sa ganito kaingay, marinig ko pa rin. Mm -hmm. that, 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 it's, it's that loud. It's uh, that loud. We're not exaggerating. Kasi yun talaga na ano eh. Yun talaga na experience natin eh. Hindi ka. Ay, hindi lang yan. Isa to, it's also the world's first smartphone with 7.1 audio. So if you're using um, a headphones that supports 7.1 audio, guys, sobrang ganda. They have a sample video. Nararamdaman, mararamdaman mo kagad yung pagka 7.1 niya. Kasi ma madali yun. If you're using especially an earphones with 2.1, then transfer to 7.1, laking difference. Although I'm not sure kung ano yung kasama ng earphones out of the box. Kasi, well, hindi pa labas eh. Pero, once alam mo ba siyon, interesting kung ano yung labas niya na, ano, na earphones. Kasi supported niya nga ang virtual 7.1 surround sound. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting kung plus ng earphones. Yung kasama. So, It if not, sama. siguro, you need to buy. Wala nakalagay dito sa ano eh. Wala nakalagay. Eh. Audio files, uh, mga may sa, sa audio. They would surely love this iPhone 3 Ultra. I love this iPhone 3 Ultra because of the audio. But better, better, no, make sure if you're gonna transfer files, make, make sure that you can use the trade. Na, ano. Yes! Huwag nyo na sayangin kasi huwag nyo huwag kayo magtipid no? kasi sayang eh. I'm not sure lang if, meron si, if yung default player nila supports lossless audio. Pero siguro it would be nice if it supports it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, yeah. Maganda ka na yung Ryzen. No, hindi lang to ha. Yung connectivity, okay. So lahat itong, lahat itong bagong Zenfones ito are using Type-C, okay? Ah, yes! It's they're, using They're, they're now Type using Type-C. Now, ang kakaiba dito sa Ultra, and not only it uses Type-C in USB, it can also support, it's the world's first to support HDMI display what? over Type-C. Wait, what? Pwede? Yan ang nakalag kayo. Oh! Nakalag kayo sa ano eh. Okay. So, kailangan ko bumunit. Well, the deluxe kaya supports the, ano? No. This is the only one. The, okay. ultra, the ultra is the only one. And it's the world's first to, uh, to support <laughs> HDMI display <laughs> port <laughs> over time C. So, kaya ko nalaman niya. Kaya ko nalaman. 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 Kaya ko Oh my god! It's really important. It's really... No, no. It's not supported. Even if you have a Type-C USB tape, it's not a point. But when you say it, you want to buy the Ultra. It's a... That's what I want to buy the Ultra. For me, it's not a point. Dude, if you can use it on the TV, you can use it on the TV. Type-C is just finished. It's an instant game console. Oh, right? If you love playing mobile games, So, or maybe I can have two. <laughs> one Zenfone 2, one Zenfone 3 Deluxe, and one, one Zenfone 3 Ultra. Oh, oh. paan? Pang-multimedia na rin. Lagay mo ito. Ah. Dalawang smart mo na sa Ultra and sa, ano, sa Deluxe. Lagay mo ito kayong text mo. Or sa cellular dun sa, ano, sa Zenfone 3. Yeah, okay. so, Tatlo. Right. Three for Zenfone. Three Zenfone 3. These are, these are fantastic devices, oh. I tell you. They, um, Asus has just made uh, an amazing lineup of smartphones this year. Uh, para na sagot nila yung hiling ng mga tao regarding the Zenfone. Sa nabang gusto nila the Zenfone? Well, guys, ito. They have different sizes. It's powerful uh, at different price range. And para sa iba't ibang tao na iba't iba yung gusto sa isang smartphone. Yeah. 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 So, ano? Uh, actually, you know, uh, marami pa. Ako, marami pa hindi na pa-post. So, abang-abangan nyo yung post... Ako din, dahil ko pa din hindi na po-post. Yung videos pa and all, and then I need to look for that memory. Parang nag-pass na yung videos na yata yung na-post ko. Computex na lang. Computex na lang. Well, actually, I have 6 kasi 4 Zen phones. The first and the second. So, pagpasahin mo to ako, binabasa ko to yung araw. Kasi I need to check that out again. You need to check it out. Because, kaya na yung check specs. 
Speaker sa kasi yung Zen Type, type, type USB Balik USB. Balik na nga natin kung ano ba yung minabasa oh, This type. is the brochure na Official Zen Phone 3 na ano to oh, Mas binasa ko kasi yung transformer kasi uh, mas ano ko sa transformer Yung hindi ko pa nababasa Pabalik na tayo Ito binasa ko talaga kasi yung ito yung hinakarap ng mga tao eh. So, tangan mo ko, uy, HDMI display mm. Over uh, type C mm. Now I need to look for that, you know, now I need to look for that cable Ito yung ganda niya, nakakaiyak. Ayan, nakakaiyak na lang. You see, ito, kikita mo itong mga pictures sa Troy. Ayan, ito yung itsura ng ano, 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 Kala ko hindi, pwede na hindi na isole eh. <laughs> <laughs> Parang, ay, ito yung Zen phone nyo na binigay sa akin. Zoom yung binigay nyo sa akin eh, not 3. Eh, tag well, 3. <laughs> well, uh, all of those smartphones are really, really good. Um, the prices, uh, nagulat. Na, okay, yung ano, na, so we mentioned, the way, the way I mentioned the Zen phone 3 was announced for $249. Yes. The Zen phone 3 Ultra will cost around $479. Yes. And uh, Zenfone 3 Deluxe would cost around $499. But again, we don't have the exact prices for the Philippines and we don't even know what the variants are in the Philippines. Okay, so guys, what uh, ano we Yung starting na yon is pwede yung pwede siya sa Deluxe, maybe it's 160 gig. Yung RAM lang naman sinabi nila, no? Yes. Those probably 499 may 6, 6 gigs of RAM. Although, hindi namin ma-assure sa inyo kung ano yung storage Wait, we niya. Still, we, still can, we still cannot assure because, uh -huh. uh, yeah, we, we just simply cannot assure. Uh, pero, know, one thing is for sure, yung okay, kind kasi, of kasi, design. Kasi, um, yun ang sinasabi, up to 6 gigs of RAM. Pero kasi may up to eh. So, mm -hmm. hindi na ang... Sinasabi nila, yun ay miso ang presyo, pero parang ayaw ko maniwala. Eh. We'll see na lang. We'll see. We'll see. Kasi Deluxe is Deluxe. Still, even if it has 4 gigs of RAM, it's still powered by Snapdragon 820 processor. Wala nang ibang binigay, di ba? Snapdragon 820. It's a flagship processor. It's very powerful. The design is so... 10 out of 10. Sobrang ganda. Sobrang ganda. So, we can't wait. Uh, no. We can't wait for... Pwede na mga power pa natin sabihin eh. Okay lang eh. No, we can. We can. Ah, okay. Okay, so because of our interview with Mr. Jerry Ah, yes, Shen, yes, you take. Nandulas si Mr. Jerry Shen. <laughs> <laughs> so the pure is like this. We'll see you in August. So, yun ang sabi niya. We'll see you in August. So, so we'll, we'll, probably, that, we'll visit the internet. Does that, uh, it probably means that uh, the Zenfone 3 will be launched in, here in Manila, here in the Philippines, this coming August. Not just the 3. Gila 3. Uh, the, the rest, no, the, the, yes. the Zenfone, the Transformers, but not exactly in the directing on no, August. No. But it will be announced here in Manila, here in the Philippines, this August. I'm Kasi really excited. Because September yung mga ibang ano yun. But yung Zenfones, malamang August. Yeah. I'm really excited, guys. I am, I'm excited as well. And, uh, you know. I'm ready to ditch my MacBook for really? those Zenfone. Yes, I am. For the... Zenbo or the Transformer, no, actually Transformer 3 Pro, pero the Deluxe, I'm really, I'm ready. Na ditch yung talaga yung smartphone ko for the Deluxe. It's really good. It's powerful. Yeah, and ang ganda na price. Yeah, and uh, who knows, that might be my smartphone of the year. From, well, actually, sa ngayon, yun na yung aking target for this smartphone of the year. Kasi because of its pricing, so we'll know if ano na yung, wala naman natin pag dumating na yung prices sa Pilipinas. Alright, so move on at tayo because we have a lot of But again, we thank Asus for, no, for bringing us to, Tai, to Taipei, Taiwan, and have us experience it firsthand. Uh, firsthand. Uh, first first as well as touring us with, uh, touring us with uh, 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 certain places in Taiwan. And we have a lot of money. I was going to go to the doctor earlier. Unlimited hagin dance. Unlimited hagin dance, guys. Unlimited drinks. Unlimited hagin dance. Unlimited food. Although isang kain na ako na unlimited hagin dance. Ako anin. So, I'm an evil monster na kumakain. Inabuso ko yung unlimited. 
Anyway, let's move on. Now, uh, right after we arrived from, ano, from, uh, from Taiwan, Cherry mo ba naman? Hindi pa sabo. Parang, di ba tayo tulog guys? Tulog mo tayo. Hindi, kailangan natin Cherry. Ay, Cherry! Kailangan natin magisig dyan. Oo, so syempre, di ba? Uh, syempre, we value Cherry mo ba? Cherry mo ba is one of our valuable uh, partners. And of course, Cherry Mobile is the number one. Um, smartphone brands of Filipinas. Alright. So that's why we really need to cover Cherry Mobile for you guys. Yeah. So ano bang nirelease ni Cherry Mobile? Uh, yeah. So they just released the uh, Southeast Asia's first um, Helio X20 smartphone. It's not, take note guys, it's not the X10. Huh? It's uh, not the Helio X10. Well, you una ko ang posted. Helio X20. Yung una kong posted po, eh, X10, okay, so oh. wala pa ko alam na X10 sa Pilipinas, so sige, go ta X10. But what? It's X20? Oh, oh, oh yeah. So, uh, to give you guys an idea, no, the Helio is, uh, is actually uh, a high-end processor, high-end chipset by MTK. And only a few smartphones are using this, uh, oh. and mostly nando pa sa ibang bansa. No, no so sabi natin na, uh, you know, the likes of uh, Elephone, uh, Elephone, <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> Elephone, the likes of uh, Oppo, uh, F1 Plus. No, they are, they are using the Helio X10 no, no, chipsets. LLP. Yeah, oh. X10, but P10. Extend. Okay. So, when nagulat ako ba? Di ba pag si Cherry, nakala ko X10, pero X20 pala. Mm. So I asked, what's the difference between the X10 and X20? Mm. Ang laki ng difference. Ang laki ng difference. Because okay. the X10 is just, is still an octa-core processor. While the X20 is the deca-core processor. Mm. Deca means? Ten. Ten. Ten processors. No? Running. All at the same time. Now, what's the use of having a 10 core? Or not 10 core well, of course, syempre, number one is performance. Uh, sorry. <coughs> number two, yung deca core means, uh, isipin na lang natin, siguro ito yung magandang, uh, sure magandang explanation, that. what the deca core. So, isipin natin, um, quad core, the, every course is like delivery guy sa, sa, let's say, sa isang restaurant. Hindi mo magsabi ng brand. Sa isang brand. Um, pero sa ano sa tago sa every course ko nang delivery guy uh, so sa quad core meron tayong maraming products like sabi natin yung products na i-deliver is yung load na kailangan we have 20 products so we have four delivery guys and yung kanyang pa- processing power is yung bilis ng delivery guys pero yun nga uh, quad core means four delivery guys pero with Cherry Mobile M1 we have um, 10 delivery guys, which is deck yung every core, and then mabibilis din siya. Again, it's not as fast as yung, uh, like yung Snapdragon 820, yung every single core niya. Right, right. It's not as fast as that, pero we have 10 cores that uh, runs na, well, in case na kailangan, natatakbo talaga siya uh, na mabilis. I'm not sure lang kung simultaneously yung 10 core. Pero hindi, ang palakang... Another thing na pagkaintindi ko sa pinayon ko nila is there are certain processors that can run ah, for okay. low so, ano, kanya, 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 oh, kanya. Na, na for ano, for low, uh, hindi masyadong task. Oh, which task. means na mas tipid siya. So, oh, ano. Then there's a certain number of processors naman that uh, that will only act for, mid, uh, for apps na medyo mabigat. And there are a certain number of processors naman na tatakbo for ano naman yung talagang tax then ah okay so hiwa-hiwa lang pala siya hiwa-hiwa yeah because like, they showed it in the you know eh, they showed it in the presentation eh. ah yeah, yeah so ganun yung ano nila ganun yung so kanya kanya ano yun kanya kanya speed right, right. kanya kanya right. power pero again sa pinaka mababa dun tayo mas stress yung battery consumption so if you're just facebook kanya less yan which you which sa amin nila na hindi raw talaga to masyado mga ka-affect sa battery life mas mm-hmm. mas may ano nga nila mas mapaprolong nga raw nila yung battery life mm-hmm. that's what they say well of course with that uh, you have to uh, do, you know, do not even verify if it's able to uh, you know it, if it is indeed able to uh, not save uh, power uh, same battery life uh, without sacrificing the power. We're legit tech bloggers naman, so we test the money. Oh, kasi may mga iba nagpapanggap na tech bloggers. So, 
yung ano, ang bukod dito, okay, camera naman. So, we talk about kanina si Zenfone, na, I mean, they're using the Sony IMX na, 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 na sensors. Aba, si Chen, hindi nagpapatalo. Hindi nagpapatalo, guys, kasi it's using a... Uh, they're also using a Sony IMX Sony na, IMX sensor. Yeah. And, um, if I remember correctly, they're using a Sony IMX 238 na, ano, na, na sensor. Kung may initiate tayo, eh. No, ano, it's 238. Medyo so, mababa. Okay. Medyo mababa, pero, you know, it's still a Sony. It's still a Sony, oh. It's still a Sony sensor, and uh, yung malaking bagay na yan, eh. You know, for a local brand that uses, uh, that uses uh, a Sony sensor, you know. Iba yung, iba yung pag uh, so, Sony uh, sensor yung dami. Right, and uh, then the upgrade na rin sila ng camera, the megapixels sa camera rin on M1. Uh, the M1 is now using a uh, 21. You see? Megapixel. They, they never, ano, ito yung sinasabi nga ni Lonson, si, ni parang Lonson, ni Lonson, uh, the product the manager. manager. When I asked, ano, anong edge nyo ngayon sa ano, eh, mga iba, nakastack pa rin sa 60 megapixels kami, 21 megapixels na. Hmm. Ano, so, Malaking ano ba? Malaki compared sa flagship na that's dati. A, that's a big jump. Yes, no? that's a big, big jump. jump. Although, um, syempre, as a type of product, kaya pa natin i-verify. And I think, hindi, baka, ito, no? I think, legit na ito ng 21 megapixels na hindi interpolated. So, ang dami nag-comment pala sa akin. Oh. Sabi nila, parang nagagalit daw sila, baka naman interpolated lang. And guys, uh, we think that this is not interpolated anymore. Kasi medyo may pagka-sharp na Kasi kaya pag si Sam 16 megapixels ako, doubtful ako parati eh. Kasi ang alam ko, 13 megapixels na naman talaga supported. Mm. Do remember the the, 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 old, the first Cosmos na? So? Yes, it's uh, uh, to 18, which is over the top nung time yeah, na yan. Yeah, 16 pa, 16. 16 lang ba? Oo, oh, oh, 16. Oh, yeah, something. Something 16 na gano'n. para sa mga, this is halatang interpolated. Well, actually, really doon na naman ng mga tao kung ano yung interpolated. Oh, no, they were really, you know, the, they were really trying hard. And sabi ko, this, is, this really sucks. Oh, yes. Pero, ngayon, uh, yung, you know, yung 21 meg- megapixels sa sinasabi nila, I don't think this is interpolated. Mm-hmm. It, it, yeah, it is supported by the, you know, by the Helio X20 processor. And uh, it's also backed up by the Sony IMX uh, sensor. So, ano, ito maganda talaga tignan. Oh, 4 gigs pa yung RAM nila. Hmm. No, 4 gigs pa yung RAM nila, malaking storage. No? Uh, this is something to look forward to. No? Yes. Something to look forward to. And, you know, Actually, even though... The, yeah, it's not, ano, it's confirmed ko lang pala. It's not interpolated because X20 can support up to 32 megapixel camera. Yun. That, 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 that confirms it. that uh, it's not interpolated. That explains it. Oh, yes. Yun. So, you can support uh, 4K, ano pa? 4K vent. Yeah, 4K vent. Pwede na pala, no? Yeah. Nakakaya, parang cherry mobile. Where were you 2010? Parang, you, you, and, well, kasama pa, inaabotan pa naman yun, di ba? Yung mga Android. Yeah. Uh, again, guys, si Reg is kasama sa cherry mobile back then. Pero parang cherry mobile, that then uh, is, Ano yung Magnum ba yan? Yung yung yeah, yung Manonova. Yung oh, it's Android. a single core Android and then look at them now. They have 10 million. cores after Ten 6 cores. years. <laughs> wow, it's just... You know what, our, our first, ano, first... Uh, the Magnum was using the first Snapdragon processor. Mm-hmm. And now... Oh, no, that's the Qualcomm nun eh. That's the Qualcomm. 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 Ngayon, MTK na din. Di ka for it. Actually, hindi lang ngayon. After 6 years, they have Qualcomm, they have MediaTek, they even have spread room processors for um, the low-end uh, smartphones. Yeah, but it seems that you're gonna continue a lot with the MTK. Yes, no? because MTK talaga is... I mean, uh, I mean price M- 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 MTK is prioritizing Jerry because Jerry is selling a lot of MTK power. Same mura din kasi ng mga MediaTek smartphones. Okay, speaking of which, ito. This is based on my interview with the MTK executives. Okay. Kasi, <laughs> at dami nga reklamo, support, ano, na bakit walang update, oh, it's always update yung, ano, yung media tech. Okay, yeah. So, tinanong ko sila, sabi ko, you know, a lot, of compl- a lot are complaining why they're not able to <laughs> receive updates on uh-huh. their, ano, so, are we, are we going to express the same with the helium power processors, or are you going to do better this time? 
Siyempre, pabibo sila. Dabi mo nila. Uh, so, ano sana. Tuloy yun. Sana. Kasi one of the problems that we encounter sa MediaTek is yung updates. The Flare yeah. X. They have to update yung Flare X para magka meron ng um, more stable na Android 5.0. Because doon sa unang MediaTek processor nila ang ginamit is hindi stable si Marshmallow. So hopefully, uh, MediaTek and Google can work it out sa mga susunod nilang processors, especially the Helio, na kung saan uh, mas maganda yung kanyang performance, not just that, and syempre yung software updates. Right. So yan, uh, the price of 11,990. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So alam mo yun, um, this is, sabi ko, tinanong ko nga dito, interview ko nga si uh, hindi ba kayo dito kinakabahan kasi it's already the territory the mid the mid range uh, ano market it's now dito na focus ngayon yung mga ibang brands yes so, actually most brands, brands. Yeah, but we've talked about it several times already in recent episodes oh, yeah. no and sa sabot naman ni Donson well mas mataas pa rin camera namin we, they so, have better specifications that's why yung run namin yes. kami yung first dito for so, ano naman, may laban nga. May laban, kasi yung yeah. smartphone sila, at the pre- same price as we have the GR5, right? Right. Is Zen Phone GR5 selfie. GR5 to be Yes. So, so pwede ka niya, oo, oh, oh, pwede to be Well, when it comes to specifications, ang laki ng agwan ni Chimo. All-metal niya yung, ano, all-metal niya yung Oppo F1, pero ano yun, ito. Processor, and performance-wise, oh, ito pa din. Oh. Ito pa din, performance-wise. So, we'll see, we'll see. And, uh, oh. We'll be able to get a review in it uh, probably in a week. Oh, yeah. So, guys, sa mga nag- nag-aano tam, kasi nagre-reklamo, camera samples, doon kami maglalabas sa camera samples once we have the review units. Oo, oh, kasi, yung mga nasa, ano, yung mga nasa event, hindi pa final yung ano, eh, software. software no? Yes. So, syempre, we need to launch, di ba? So, we have, you guys have to understand na just yeah. because they launch, eh, kailangan final na. No, yes. it doesn't no. happen that way. So, hindi ganyan nakalakaran sa industriya. So, we'll just have to be booting a one week lang yung binibili hiniingi sa atin eh. Mm-hmm. So, after one week, we'll be able to test, we'll be able to find out. Kaya ka nang mamadali din kami sa wala yung ano, nire-review namin, nire-review na lang yung pasok na review units. Okay, may sinabi na bang launch date wala pa? It will, ano, it will be available at the end of the month. Ah, okay. Oh, wow. At the end of the month, na pa na pa na pa na Bilis. Tumalay natin, baka sabihin natin eh, hmm. uh, ito lang siguro yung gagamitin ko phone pa natin. Just like the Flare X. Baka mas gamitin ko pa nga ito kayo sa Flare X. Baka ito na maging may phone ko for all I know. Oo, oh, balay natin, di ba? Di ba? Tingnan natin. Who knows? Kasi ang ganda ng processor, yung processor yeah, Pero sana, ano, let's, let's wait for the, ano, before we can get about the final working. Yes. Anyway, so those are the news for this week and uh, so long news not uh, so yeah, very long. And uh, we thank you for uh, for watching the whole you know, video And uh, we're going to review uh, for the hands on review segment, we're going to review the Oppo F1 Plus. The supposedly that's a kind of review, but that come in pagod. So PC, Computex, PC, Computex, and Computex Asus. and Computex. <laughs> so we're gonna have to review it. Di ba naman tapos na? All right. So uh, see you in our hands on review segment.